hi welcome to my youtube channel in this video i want to show you how to update your password if you are using um, office 365 in outlook so let's say you receive a message a pop-up to actually reset your password or to actually um, enter your new password and you keep on receiving that error message in the previous in the previous version of windows um the out the password for outlook is actually saved in in credentials credential manager so here if i go to credential manager on our windows credential here you will see that um outlook or office 365 will be added to windows credentials but in the latest version of windows or if you're using office 365 your password will not be saved there. So how do, how do you change your password? So let me give you a tip on how to change your password if you're using Office 365 and you are being requested to re-enter your password. So what you need to do is you need to go to your Start menu and go to Settings. In Settings, um, click Accounts. In Accounts, you have the option to actually Go to your, your info. This is just your info. You have your email and account. So I'm using actually I'm using a Windows um, virtual machine. You can see it's a VMware workstation. So I'm using a Windows 10 Enterprise because you can see here that this uh, let me just minimize this. That my well, I'm using a, a enterprise evaluation. So the Windows license is expired. So that's why I'm receiving this message that you need to activate Windows before you can personalize your PC. So let me just go to my access work account as well. I have the options to actually do either email account or access work account. So you can see here we have the work account for um, Jennifer Astra which has and uh, which I've already created an Outlook and which I've already signed into Office 365 in Outlook. So let me try to click email account and see if I'm get if I will get that option to actually manage my accounts. So in email and account, when I click on the account of Jennifer, so here we have the option to actually um, manage. So if I click on manage, you can see I'll be redirected to the Microsoft Office homepage to actually sign in with the account of Jennifer. So click Jennifer's account, and then let me skip this for 14 days. So here you can see that after um, I've been redirected to the Office 365 portal of Microsoft's um, Office Home. So here we have the option to actually change um, Jennifer's password. So I'm going to change the password right now and see. So here, so I'm being required to enter my old password. So let me just enter my old password and then enter the new password. And I click submit. So let me just actually just save my password here as well. So let me just save it. So for the next time, I will not be requested to enter my password. So what happens is this. So after Jennifer enters her new password or change her password, automatically her password is being changed on a device as well because you have access to the internet so everything is being synchronized automatically so here we have the option to actually edit our security info which of course is going to take me to my sign in let me just try to sign again sign in i'm going to enter my new password yes update let's give this for 14 days So if I click overview, let me just click overview and show you some info. Let me just keep this for 14 days. And here you can see we have the Jennifer um, Astra info. We can as well um, change our password here as well. We can as well update, update our info. We can see which device, um, manage which device Jennifer has been logged on to. So when I click manage devices, you can see that Jennifer has been logged on, logged on to this device here, which is the Windows 10 strip 01 is a Windows. 
which is active whichever is active right now so we have the device object id as well i can as well disable this device that so jennifer cannot be able to log on to this device anymore but i'm just going to leave that for now so we have some other options here which jennifer can as well use but let me just go to back to my outlook here let me close outlook and see so i'm trying to open outlook again so let's see if it's going to request because i've changed my password so let's see if i'll be requested to enter my new password in outlook so it's trying to say it's trying to reconnect and you can see that it has been connected to microsoft exchange without outlook requesting me to actually re-enter my password because for me going to settings under my email account i'm going to manage and trying to and change my password there automatically so long as i have access to the internet and i'm still logged onto that device everything changed on that device as well so if i go to excel as let me just try to open excel and if i open excel here you can see i will not be requested to actually enter my password because everything becomes a single sign-on as well you can see that jennifer has already been signed in to this device Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to like my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel as well, and leave a comment, and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Bye.